Hey there folks, look what came in today, my QD sling swivel, finally came in today, I ordered it a few days ago on Amazon, and it finally came in, and it fit into my UTG pretty good, uh, I just bought a generic QD brand, I wasn't really out for anything specific uh, these were eight dollars it came with two of them apparently the company that it came from is called Braudel as you can see right there it came with two of these and it came with a little US flag on the inside let me get these out for you guys to see see it came with a little US flag and a little thing saying thank you came with two QD uh, sling swivels as I just stated and uh, I will admit when I first got them in and I went to put them in the UTG QD uh, sling swivel uh, attachment here stud holder uh, they would not go up into the QD uh, sling point there and I uh, greased this one up as you can see I put some grease on it and I put some grease in the hole there and it still wouldn't go up in there and I was wondering what was going on so what I did is I backed these two screws here as you can see there's a screw right there and there's another screw right there I backed those out just a hair and then uh, put the cuties sling swivel stud down in there and it locked in and now it's in there see I'm pulling on it and it ain't coming out and if I depress the little button I gotta get a good hold on it here yeah, to depress the little button come on they come out so everything works properly and I got it all to uh, work just fine. And I push it back in. Yep, went back in there. Just fine. So, I basically have the front point sling uh, ring in there now. The front point sling stud in there now. And I've got the rear one. Now all I got to do is buy the sling get a sling and that my uh, DPMS Oracle AR-15 sling attachment project will be completed. Now my next step is just to get a sling. I'm thinking about getting a Vikings tactical sling but we'll see I may find something different but for right now in my mind a Vikings tactical sling is what I've got uh, thought up in my head. That will be the next Thing and I, I'm thinking about getting the green one because my uh, M1A M1A has a flat dark earth Vikings tactical sling, so I'm thinking a little something a little different for the AR-15. I'll go with a green one. So, just another step in the project done. These are some good quality uh, QD points. I, I'll say that much. They are. Uh, they seem pretty well built. Let's see if I can get the... Now you can depress the... I'm trying to get my finger out of the way there. There we go. You depress that button and those uh, ball bearings retract just slightly. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. So, I figured I'd let you all see that that is furthering in advancement my little project to put getting the sling put on this outfit now I gotta get some rail covers I uh, had a buddy by the name of Robert Fisher offer me some he offered me some of those ladder rail protectors but I'm thinking about going to them uh, big flat they slip on over but they cover the whole rail they're not ladder protectors but they cover the whole rail I'm thinking about getting some of those Oh, anyway, that's where I'm at now. I'm 
just another step closer to getting a sling on this puppy. I will put down in the, in the pinned comment below the, the sling swivel stud that I ordered specifically. I'll just put the link to it to Amazon on there. Uh, what we got planned in the future, I'm reloading some uh, 308, some 308 hand loads. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try some hollow point boat tail 168 grain Hornaday bullets again, and I'm also gonna try some 150 grain Sierra bullets and see which of the two group tighter. I'll show the results on that. I'm not sure if I will show the actual physical uh, shooting because that way I'll be on my game and. And I have to worry about the camera. And we have something big coming. Something big coming that we ordered. It should be here in a few days. But when it gets here, I'll let you guys all see it. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm excited for it too. And I've got uh, some other little odds and ends I might do. I'm kicking ideas around in my head. Got some uh, stuff I may review. But there'll be a whole lot more shooting and scouting coming up because it's cooled off significantly again. The cold front has come through. So that will be uh, more outside adventures will be on the way. Anyway, till next time, guys. This has been Pluskin by 51mm. I'll see you all in the next video.